It's almost afternoon. We out here, let's change the angle on this so you guys can see everything. I'm gonna have to come back a little bit. There we go. That's better, that's better. How we looking now? How's the view now? We got five people in the house. Jared's in the house. What's going on? Sean, thanks for stopping in. Fishing with the Chad, James Kirkpatrick, Tyler. Appreciate you guys. We got five thumbs up already. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Appreciate y'all. Put the hater blockers on. Woo. Dave, what's up, champ? Judy Booty in the house. We got... What's going on, man? Sarge, J420. What's up, what's up, man? We out here fishing, fishing, y'all. Fishing, fishing. Brian B, Vito Fish is in the house. What's up with y'all, man? I was a little underprepared. Came out here to go fishing. I don't. I don't even have my leader line. I was trying to change out some leader lines. I don't even have it. I guess I let, it was in the house yesterday. The plan was actually I was gonna go fishing this evening, but since I already had to come out here and meet Richard, I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go do some bank fishing today. Hey, what's going on guys? Morning. Richard, he's been fishing uh, since what, like 9.30, somewhere Yeah, around like right? 9.30. Just small channel cats at the first spot. So we decided to come over to the channel side and try our luck over here, see if we can get on some catfish and carp. So we'll see. Cowboys, two stands in the house. What's going on, guys? Thanks for stopping in. Give me one second. had a bite y'all there we go all right let's see who we got in the house we got three three six in the house michael murillo yes we're fishing for both we are fishing for both michael um, I I was supposed to have a carp rod out here, but my whisker seeker, I went to go uh, pull it out and um, the tip was broke on it. So we're not using my carp rod today. I got to fix the tip on that rod and to fix the tip on my blue cat rod. So that's going to be something I'm going to be doing over the, uh, over the next week. I'll probably do a how-to video on it since I already got to do it. Might as well make a video out of it. Real time, John Parker's in the house, UT Kayak Boys, Steve Mosley, Dave is in the house. What's going on, man? Jared O. Oh, uh, yeah, Jared. Um, only people that are subscribed to the channel can talk in the chats. There was a video. Um, I've seen some other YouTubers um, doing it. Um, and who was it? Clint. Circle Hook Productions. He's the one who put a video out. And I like that, you know, it, it'll stop the trolls from coming in because you have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to be subscribed for five minutes before you can actually make a comment. So it just helps with all the trolling and stuff. You know, the trolls, if they want to troll, they're going to have to they're going to have to subscribe, wait five minutes and then troll and then get booted and then wait five minutes again on a new account. And it's just like, OK, I'll waste your time if you're going to waste my time. <laughs> Bandit Frogster, what's going on? Eddie Gross. Buck Williams, do a how to not break your rod tip. I know, Buck. <laughs> I know. Actually, you know what's funny? I never broke a rod tip. And then my brother broke one. And this one, I don't know how it broke. It's been sitting in my house for, for a while. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was just being a little bit too rough. Let me see. What the fish snatcher has? You know I got to smash some trolls. You take it away, my work. <laughs> hey. 
Yes, no money necessary. That's all you gotta do, man. You just gotta hook set. That's all. I know, Michael. I'm trying to make everybody's job a little easier. We're just playing around with the seat, you know. We're we're just playing around, messing around with it. I did it last night too as well. It ran smooth. It ran good. So I like it. Uh oh, Rich is getting a hit. Richard got all the catfish rides, all the cart rides set up. I got three, my three rods got all eel on it. They got all eel on it. I got using chicken today. Chicken. chicken. And Richard got chicken and, and what's your cart bait? Uh, cart bait is a one with a strawberry jello and then I have another one with anise. Okay, so yeah, strawberry jello with one and anise with the other for his cart bait. Is it pack bait? Pack bait. Pack bait, yeah, That's pack bait. So Why is this? One of the is a plain chicken. Hooks and hammocks in the house. Sorry, guys. The chat is flying and it's not. I'm making sure that it's auto populating. I have to keep scrolling. Let me make sure. Okay, there we go. Now it's working right. Richard Montano 336 says, What's up? A and B outdoors. What's going on? Chris is in the house. What's up? What's up? Yeah, guys, we're switching it up today. Was gonna go out in the kayak this evening, but I'm not making two trips to DC. We're already out here. Let's go fishing while we're out here, man. Let's just make the most of it. You know, we're just gonna have some fun. I'll be out here this Saturday though, competing against uh, Mike Greenwell. That'll be the next time I go out fishing. I'll be out in the kayak that day. But it's a nice day out today. It's beautiful out. Here. It feels really good. The sun is out, not too windy. Let me show you guys. Um, this is gonna be. The Potomac River crew right here, that's gonna be our future boat right here. That's, your new boat right that's here. gonna be our future boat right here. You know, <laughs> Chunky, Richard, <laughs> Brian B, D and V, <laughs> DC Metro, Mark Fishing Magician, no real loss. We all gonna be up on this thing one day and we're gonna do some fishing. Monster rod holders all around that thing. <laughs> that thing is a four-story yacht right there, man. Talk about a boat. Sheesh. <laughs> that thing, that thing, gas mileage is probably insane, probably terrible. Just to go 20 minutes up river, you just spent five thousand dollars in gas. Elston is gonna need more lights. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have to bling it out. <laughs> There's gonna be an Elston room, the presidential suite, the king of bling, and it's just all gonna be lights, bright lights, glowing in the dark. To get all that painted, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Right now, it looks like Mountaineer colors. That's what it reminds me of. It has that deep navy blue, white, and and yellow, gold, whatever you want to call it. it. Reminds me of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Solo Texans is in the house. What's going on? What is up? What is up? Oh yes, can't forget the Anger Holics. Cannot forget the Anger Holics, and also. You know, our, our Potomac River subdivision, the James River, of course, too. You know, the stands, they're always definitely welcome. You know, it'll definitely be a party on the Potomac. They can come up. Of course, you know, John and Dana Parker, you guys aren't too far. You guys can come up here and do some fishing, fishing. Catfish regulators in the house. Don't be talking about my boat. Does Chunky has what it takes? He gonna be in here talking smack. Boom, Uncle Steve with the smack talk. The number one guys, so we did a, uh, you know, yesterday we were in the live stream and everybody, uh, we were talking about who is your favorite smack talker. So everybody drop who your favorite smack talker is. My favorite smack talker is Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve be smack talking with the best of them. <laughs> everybody drop who your favorite smack talker is. <laughs> and yeah, I'm Chunky. Chunky don't has what it takes, man, Steve. He's not ready, man. He is not ready yet. Time for some sweet doggies. UT Kaiboy says, you and Uncle Steve are my favorite trash talkers. Frogsters in the house. Thanks for coming in all the way from the UK. Frogster, send me your uh, send me your address too to my email. Um, Haslifefishing at gmail.com. Send me your address so I can get you some uh, some of my awesome stickers out. I just mailed them out to everybody yesterday morning. All my stickers went out, but these are my new Uncle Steve and Uncle G. 
Yes, I talked to him, Uncle Steve. I talked to him. I talked to him, and it's a, yeah. We're on, buddy. We are on. These right here, the five inch sweet doggy stickers. What's up, Luck, Lucky Ronnie in the house? Yeah, I just mailed these out to everybody. We got a whole bunch more. I like to keep these on with me too as well, because whenever, whenever I see kids fishing out in the community, I always go up to them, talk to them, say what's up, and give them some stickers, give them some words of encouragement, and like to help them out. I've been meeting a lot of kids out here fishing, and I love seeing kids fishing in the community. You know, they're gonna keep it going. They're gonna be the future. UT Kayak Boys, uh, send me an email address. Send me your address. I believe you may have got it, but I'm not sure though. Just send it to me. I have a list of everybody that I already sent. Gotcha, sweet doggy. Look good on the back of my Ford pickup. Lee Evans, send me, send me a, um, the way I did it was I, the first like 60, I told anybody that hasn't got a Has Life sticker, and we'll still do it. If you do not have a Has Life sticker, oh no, poor Chunky, $500 to the win. Uh-oh, Uncle Steve is letting it be known, guys. It's about to go down. It is about to go down. I just mailed it out um, yesterday, so it'll, it's gonna take a couple days for it to get to you guys. Got a hat, but no sticker. All right, Lee Evans. Okay, awesome, Bandit, cool, cool. Awesome. So, I'll wait for, uh, once Chunky comes up in here, Uncle Steve, I'm break the news. That way I can smack, smack talk him. I know he'll pop his head up in here eventually. But yeah, guys, we got something coming. But we always get the awesome, positive moments from Has Life. I'm so very thankful. We are so blessed. Awesome, Michael Murillo. That means so much long, uh, so much to me. You know, I'm glad we're able to be the stress relievers in people's lives and come out here and do fishing when you guys can't go fishing. You guys get a little break. Even if you're at work, you get a little 15, 20 minute break. You get to clock in. Um, un, you know, you get to clock out and clock in over here on the Has Life channel. And we get to put on a good show for you guys. We always keep it positive. We always keep it respectful. We always have a good time. No, he won't. Chunky running scared. Chunky <laughs> running scared. He, he not going to pop in the ass live stream, y'all. <laughs> Chunky's buying all the eels of the uh, Asian market right now. <laughs> Chunky's buying up all the eels, guys. He does not want has to have no all eels. The Asian market, eels right Every, that's what he's doing right now. He's running around all the Asian markets buying out all the eels. <laughs> Well, I have to head off to bed. Good stream. All right, A and B, get some sleep. He's yeah, yeah, Michael. <laughs> Everyone tag Chunky. Tell Chunky come up in here. Tell Chunky pop up in here. Pop his head up in here. <laughs> oh man. My city, DC. First time viewer and subscribed. Awesome. And Anna East, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate that. Yep, I'm in Washington, D.C. We are fishing the channel side of Hayes Point right now. Me and Richard were out here. Um, this isn't always the best area for fishing, but it's just a nice area to come to and relax and chill, get away from all the riffraff and stuff like that. Um, but big fish do come through here, so we're just going to see what we got. That's all. Sad at work with Kevin watching The Legend Has Life. Nice, Richard, appreciate you popping in. Carp number one, I'm on your right. <laughs> Man, thanks, Andy, appreciate that. I mean left. <laughs> right, left, it's always hard. It's always flipped and reversed when, when it's on this way. Like, this is my left, but to you guys, yeah. it's probably the right. Steven already has a carp already. Already? Steven already got a carp? Oh, man, Steven's on fire, guys. He's on the other, I don't know, he's on the other. He's over there. I was gonna go to that spot first. How long you gonna be out here, Has? Um, lucky, I'm not sure. We'll probably be out here till I don't know. Probably like what time is it now? 11:50. We'll be out for a couple hours. Probably till like three, four o'clock. 
this for the bridge. We'll we'll be at we'll be at this spot, and if it doesn't get any, you know, if we're not getting any action, if it's not popping, you know, after we give the spot a couple hours, we will move. Hold on a second, guys. I got a call from my children's doctor's office. Hello. All right, man, I've been, I feel like I've been taking my kids in and out the doctor's office for the last two weeks. Let me uh, set this appointment up before I forget. Oh, I already got set up. I forgot that fast. What kind of rod holders are these? These are, let me show you guys. I mean, it'll be easy if I just take this out. Sorry, guys. I know I'm trying to keep up with chat. Aaron Goldsby. What's up, champ? Yeah, we at Haynes Point. These right here are Ram Diaz. He's the one who made my rod holders right here. Um, they are a rebar going up to this, like, uh, angled steel. Um, and then it's screwed into... It's not PVC, but it's something similar to that. And they work great. I have six of them total, and they have my logo on there too as well. He uh, he made some some dope custom ones too for uh, two stands fishing, uh, but I love these. And while we're here, I have an Uncle Lou's rod right here with the Abu Garcia 7000. We got a um, Tangle with Cats um, High Viz series with a 6500 Pro Rocket, and then we have another Uncle Lou's with the pin squall 20 on and that's what we're fishing with today cowboy catfishers pontoon jody what's up thanks for stopping in y'all and this is where we're fishing at right at haynes point it's a great park to come take your kids to family to you can grill cook out they got plenty of room to set up and and we this is where we did our potomac river meet and greet at um, you get the fish right across from it. They have the wharf where they got a bunch of seafood restaurants and all that stuff too as well. Fishing Chick. What's up, Fishing Chick? Thanks for stopping in. Hey, you got to lunch? No. Do my favor. Okay. Wait for me 20 minutes. I'm going to run over here across. This on uh, your left right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Rich is about to hook it up, guys. He's going right across to the wharf. Gonna get some fresh shrimp, man. We gotta have some grilled shrimp out here. Some shrimp on the bobby. About to go back to work. All right, Steve. Have a good luck. Uh, safe, safe shift at work. We got 33 thumbs up, 53 people in the house. Appreciate you guys stopping in and watching. Shrimp is on the way. And we can also use it for bait too. Nah, I don't use shrimp for bait. <laughs> we use eel out here. Aaron, I haven't had much luck with uh, white perch. OBX trip was a bust. 30 mile power winds all day. Rough seas caught whiting and croaker in that tough fishing. Wasn't able to. Oh, yeah, Tyler. That is crazy. 30 mile power winds. You definitely be getting blown around out there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Chucky Cats. Dicky Cats is in the house, y'all. <laughs> Uncle Steve is already talking smack. So, Chucky. We're gonna break the news, man. We're gonna break the news. Chunky Cats is in this house, guys. Chunky Cats is in the house. Let's see. Does Chunky Cats has what it takes to take on? Hold on. We got a tap, y'all. We got a tap. 
First fish on the stream, and it's a little dinky one, a baby channel cat. That must be your Brian B rod. <laughs> uh oh, he caught a Brian B fish. Yeah, this was on Richard's rod right there, but he left, so I was like, let me go over here. Yeah, this is good bait right here. Brian B size, Brian B size. <laughs> All right, let's let it go. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Let me catch you back out there. All right, guys, we back. We back. Did I miss something? Chunky, who? Five hundred dollars. Winner take all. Winner take all. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Boom! Kimberly with the fifty dollar boom. Appreciate you, Kimberly. All right, guys, we got fifty six driving to listening, my amazing friends. So we got fifty six awesome amazing people in the house guys and you guys know that there's been a lot of banter going on between has life and chunky cats who is you know i call myself the papa potomac who is the real papa potomac who is the king of the potomac river you guys are going to find out me versus dinky cats fishing live we're working out all the details, but we have Uncle Steve, Painted Services by Steve, hit me up this morning, said he's going to put up $300 to the winner. And then me and Chunky are going to put up $100 each on a bet, and winner takes all $500 into the pot. It's going to be fun, man. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. You can't call yourself whatever you want. You can call yourself whatever you want. <laughs> Papa Potomac. About to take them to school, yo! We about to take them to school. Chunky cats fishing. Woo! <laughs> you guys know I love the smoke. I love the smoke. I love it. I love it. I love it. So be out on the lookout. Me and Chunky are gonna be are planning this thing behind the scenes. It's gonna be really, really, really soon, guys, in the next couple weeks. I know next week we got a lot of rain coming in, so we probably won't be able to get out on the water next week. But look look for something for the week after, for sure. Be there or be square, brother. <laughs> Who wants to smoke? Who wants to smoke? Chunky Cow's about to whoop that ass. You said the same thing about Ryan Bortz. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Sorry, sorry. 
What's going on, Haz and everybody else? What's up, Kelly? Thanks for stopping in. Will you be fishing the same spot? No, we won't be fishing the same spot, but we will be fishing on the Potomac River at the same time. He'll be in his boat and I'll be in the Cadillac. I love doing tournaments like that, where you guys like that, me and Brian B fishing the tournament. We're both on the same bodies of water, both fishing the same conditions. But we need some fish. Chunky don't fish enough to has what it takes. Whoo, shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Chunky in the boat. Yeah, Chunky has some spots in the boat. I want Chunky at his best. You know, bank fishing, yeah, that's cool. But you can't move around when the bite dies. So I want Chunky at his best for sure. If I keep saying it, eventually I'll be right. Maybe, or maybe nobody has what it takes. I'll see you soon. Yes, bet yes, uh Steven. Are you over there, Steven? Come over here. Say what's up. Parker Pursuits is in the house. Has and Chunky are the best either way. I've learned tons from both. Y'all Cowboys won. Big has. How'd Washington do? Eh, you know. I'm a fan of the team, but I do not play for the team. Alright? So I don't have any control over that. What I do have control over though is whooping Chunky's butt out there on the river. <laughs> now nah, no fish yet, fam. No fish yet. No fish yet. We've been out here 26 minutes, guys. We've had our baits in the water. <laughs> we got our baits in the water for about 26 minutes. We'll see if we get some fish or not. Hopefully, we get some fish coming through here. This, the fish do not stay here. Like, there's not any, like, uh, holes where they bunker down in and stay at. This is just a highway for catfish. It's always very hit or miss. More times missed than hit. But, oh yeah, we did get that channel cat. Yeah, you're right about that. We did get that small channel cat. Afternoon has, like I said before, you got this. Thanks, Gigability has. If you fish with Chunky, make sure that there are little waves. Bring a picture, picture of rain or, yeah. <laughs> Chunky don't like the waves. No fish was it, yeah. Willow, it wasn't, it was a mythical channel cat that we caught. <laughs> I'm going to get a smack talk lesson from has today. <laughs> Who was the smoke? Yes, we're giving out. Um, so on the Has Life channel, you can get some um, some Has Life yak food. We're giving those away. We're giving out lessons on yak food on the kayak. We're giving out lessons in smack talking. We're giving out um, aerobics too. Those of you that saw my last uh, uh, Do You Has What It Takes, I was fighting like eight miles an hour current upstream. And we're also giving out um, bank fishing lessons too as well. 26 minutes and no fish. Chunky catches fish in less than five. We gonna find out tonight, guys, cause Chucky will be live. <laughs> Chucky will be live, and if he don't catch a fish in five minutes, you know I'm gonna be in the chat talking smack. <laughs> and we already got, we got one fish, Chunky. We got a little baby channel cat. We got a chunky Brian B size fish. <laughs> Has what are your top three favorite bait baits? Kimberly KB Battle. My top three favorite baits for catfishing on the Potomac River are in this order. Number one is eel. Eel works pretty much 88% of the time on the river. In the winter time, it will slow down a little bit, but eel is pretty much like the top number one bait all year round that you can catch them. In the winter time, it slows down a little bit. Number two is gonna be carp. That's my number two bait to use on the Potomac River. And number three, it, this bait changes um but right now i'd have to say chicken um but sometimes it's perch sometimes it's uh like when the shad run comes in you get the american eel i mean sorry not american eel you get the hickory shad and american shad um but right now i'd have to say chicken those would be my top three chunky might have a chance if he doesn't lose his boat <laughs> yes i learned eel from chunky i remember when i first started catfishing I went out with bluegill, cut bluegill, worms, you know, chicken liver, dough bait, and I got skunked like my first like five times, six times. I was having no luck. Then I left a comment on one of Chunky's videos and he said white perch or eel. I went to the Asian market, I found me some eel, and I've been slaying them ever since, guys. I've been slaying them ever since. 
Well, 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 here I am working my butt off and the entire Potomac River crew goes out for a fishing party. <laughs> Bexy, uh, I think you're you're getting a, you're coming down with a little cold. You're not looking too well, Bexy. You might want to let your boss know, let you go a little early. And Aaron Goldsberg, Gizzard Shad, they are a very good bait, but I don't get to fish with them here on the Potomac River because I fish the DC side, and you can't cast net or gill net on the DC side, so that's why I don't get to use them. But Gizzard Shad is a very good bait to use too, as well. Brooks Pierce, what's up champ? Thanks for stopping in. But yeah, that eel is a very oily bait and is very tough. It's like leather the way the skin is. What's up Has Checked in on lunch, man. I have a lot of great memories watching you guys there. Good luck. Thanks Bobby, appreciate it. Frozen eel from, no, live eel, Kimberly. Live eel. Sneezing, accidentally hit the super chat. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Bexy with the with the five dollar boom. Um, they have live eel. You can get live eel in the Asian markets. Just call around. You don't have to drive. Most of them don't have them, but if you call around and ask, you'll find one in the DC area, DMV area, Virginia side, Maryland side, PG side. They got them all around. There's a rod bouncing. This one right here. It's not doing any movement right now. All right, thanks, Tennessee. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm keeping an eye on it. Watch out for that Brian B guy. Uncle Lou with the $20. Boo! Appreciate your Uncle Lou. Posted your carbon on Instagram, nice. And Stevy Stev is over here fishing behind us, guys, right on the other side of that bridge. He already caught a carp. Yes, sir. Like supper smacked it. I got, I got carp on all. I mean, I'm sorry, I have eel on all the rods. So I know the bait is on there, so we don't have to check the bait. The line is still taut, so we're just gonna wait and see if something comes back for it. Hopefully they do. Hopefully something comes back for it. But we have we have uh, variables that are working against us. Number one, every time I go out on the Potomac River and I'm fishing in that kayak on these Saturday tournaments, I've been fishing on the Potomac River a lot on Saturdays. Um, the bite slows down around 10, 11 o'clock. And then also this being a highway for catfish, you know, you have to wait for them to come in. Stay tuned for the true king of the Potomac coming to you live. Fishing chick, who would that be? Who could that be? I know you ain't talking about Chunky Cats. Chunky Cats is the king of bling. He's definitely king of bling. But, and and I'll, I'll probably call him, I don't know, Brian B's putting up a good competition for the king of dinky fish, because Chunky Cats was the king of dinky fish for a while there, but once he started fishing out of a boat, he started getting on some decent fish. So, it's a toss up between Chunky and Brian B for the, uh, <laughs> Now it's definitely Chunky Cats, you big dummy. Chunky's the king of dinky. <laughs> Good morning for as long as I can stay. Tim Molina in the house. <laughs> oh, man. Morning from the 520. What's a good size channel cat in your parts? See big blues pulled off the end, but only... Yes, channel cats do not get big here. On the Potomac River, a great ch size channel cat is like a six, seven pound channel cat. If you can find them, but I rarely catch. I've caught like over 500 blue cats this year on the Potomac River. And I haven't, I've caught like three channel cats and two flatheads. The rest of them are blue cats. But on the, if you want to catch uh, channel cats, if that's your thing, go to the Chesapeake Bay. You will have better luck catching uh, channel cats on the Chesapeake Bay. Lee Evans, did Richard get kidnapped? No, he went right across the uh, the water right here is the wharf right over there. He went across the uh, the way to go pick up some eel. 
he keeps his grill in his uh in his uh vehicle so he's gonna be uh light, lighting up the grill and we're gonna be eating some some shrimps some scrimps is that richard's gear on the cart yes that is richard's gear this is richard's rides and back here richard rides Yep, we got three rods for carp and three rods for catfish. But so far, only the channel cats are hitting the carp bait. What? Um, Stevin, right on the other side of the bridge, he just caught a carp. The carp are in here. Um, you can catch them a lot. But the carp bite has been very, very slow for Richard the last two months. Like He's like the carp slayer. But he said um, October and November, the carp is going to start picking up here car bite's gonna pick up i guess when it's too hot they don't like to eat switch devices in listen and just sat down to and realized comments frozen sorry for missing my up we got another we got another bite y'all let me bring y'all down here so y'all can see That last rod is getting tapped. that thing up and break it off. go guys nope this is another channel cat little baby guy let's let him go so far it's been the channel cat bite Come on, blue cat. Where the blues at? 
where are the blues at? Has be digging. No, that's not my ride. That is not my ride. I don't have any dink bait on my rides. That doesn't count. I would just alley oop. I just alley oop that rod right there. That's a Richard fish. I just alley ooped it. That's a Richard fish. We got a nice size eel. Don't start giving me those. Chuck Mahler's in the house. What's up, champ? Thanks for coming in. I know, Will. <laughs> Still my catch. I don't care. I'll take them. A fish is a fish, y'all. Y'all can call me the Dink Slayer. But we all know that. Is it true? That's what Brian B do. Brian B will dink you to death the whole tournament. We won't tell. Shh. It's a secret, y'all. It's a secret. What's going on? We have 79 awesome people in the house and 58 thumbs up. Yes, Big Mike. Oh, come on, take down. We had to take down on the middle rod, on the green rod. We're carp fishing and we're cat fishing today. But so far, all we got are channel cats on the carp rods. The channel cats love that corn too. This looks like a baby blue right here. Take it down, take it down. One, I think this rod right here has a 10-out circle hook, so we may miss this fish. <laughs> Rich is back, y'all. There we go. We hooked him in his brain. We set the hook on his brain. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Can you guys see me over here? Hey, what's going on? How's you catching on the little guys? ourselves a blue cat. This one's like four and a half pounds probably. Four and a half pound Brian B size. These are little fun size. These are perfect little eater size right here. And when they say selective harvest, these are perfect fish right here to take out of the Tone River. If you guys are going to eat them, take as many of these guys as you want. Grips. There's no for bait. <laughs> <laughs> no, no bait. No bait. No bait. Look at we that, y'all. Pretty cook right now, man. I was cooking on the way, man. It's lunchtime. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Thank you, thank you. I got more than the car. Okay. Oh, sorry, Woo! All right. Let's get this ride back out here. Yeah, I got some uh, two birds. What's up, Has? That's a little sweet doggy. <laughs> yeah, that's a little baby fish right there. Yeah, what I was saying, this ride is the one that I got the 10 out circle hood on. This one's big hook. This one, the rest of them got eight odds. The only thing I only got more to water, man. Uh, I have water too. Okay. Oh, yeah.
they're not eating the eel, we got some perch, fresh perch, just in case. I'm about to recast this vibe right here. DJ, you brought me your help. That was all me. That one was all me. Alright, let's do that again. Let's redo that one. Well, okay guys, this is for lunch for, for today. Shrimp. I want to cook it some later too. Tell Steven to come over. I told him. Steven. Come on over, Steven. We got some scrimps. YouTube star of catfishing. The only one undefeated Papa Potomac has life. What up, buddy? You slaying the catfish. Dale, what's up, champ? Thanks for coming in. Sorry, that line is slack. Let me uh, tighten it up. Let me tighten it up. Yeah, man. With these... uh. With these tournaments, I was like, man, I want to get out here and fish this stuff, man. So that's what we came up with. Do you have what it takes? So I can come out here and uh, do some fishing with you guys. So I love it. I thought we had a tap already. Thought we had some action. Uh, my fishing for, I love fishing, guys. Like that is, Number one, if I got free time, I'm going fishing. Family time, 
wifey's uh i asked her if she wanted to come out today but she wasn't up for it up oh. come on that's all we got that's all we got yo Missed it. Alright, let's see if we come back for it. You know, wifey's almost eight months pregnant, so she just wanted to lay down and relax and chill, which I understand. So that's what she's that's doing. Funny. As you could have Richard tell us about his cart beeping set up. He's gonna eat right now, then we'll go over there and uh We'll walk, walk you guys through it for sure. Give it like 10 minutes and then we'll walk you guys through his fancy carp setup over there. There's no biting today. I know. Bram, <laughs> what's up, champ? Thanks for stopping in, guy. That's uh, those of you that were asking about my rod holders right there. Ram Diaz, that's the guy you want to get in contact with. He's the one who makes my uh, bank rod holders. They're awesome. Very well made, very top quality, top notch. Cause I keep my my reels locked down. I like to lock my reels all the way down. So if it's taking drag, it's cause it's a big fish. Or a blue cat just is hitting like a bat out of hell. Cause blue cats will smack them, them baits. A five pound blue will take some drag. Epic, what's going on, Epic? Sorry guys, I'm just ducked off over here in the corner. About to eat some of these scraps. I got some sausages over here, bro. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is my eight year anniversary. I didn't forget this year. Steve Mosley, you got some brownie points coming. You didn't forget your anniversary. Congratulations <laughs> on eight years. I know it's a, it takes a lot of work, you know, to make uh, relationships stay together on both sides. It takes a lot of compromise, man. That's a big congratulations on you for that. Rondell's in the house. What's up, Rondell? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you guys. Man, if you guys did not see this past weekend, Epic and Sean, Catfish Heroes and Epic Catfish, Sean and Tim, they were out there on the Mississippi pulling in straight donkeys. Straight so we donkeys every fish man that first like four fish were like 80 pounds 88 pounds 77.8 pounds it was crazy has i'm gonna get fired again when i said chunky when i sent chunky a title chunky cast fishing recognizes has as the head of the table oh guys we got some action <laughs> has the people's champ he the champ till he can't champ no more yes sir The people's champ, Chunky who? What? What's Chunky's name? It doesn't matter what his name is. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, channel, another catfish. Let me spin it, spin it around. Marillo, you're fired. It's all right, Marillo. I got you over here on the Has Life team. Hammer time. You're hired. That you will never get fired. Oh, he got away. He got away. No. It was a big one. Oh man. Oh no. It got wrapped up in my line. Or right, wrapped up in your line and got off. Man, dang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it back, man. It was a good one, guys. It was a good one, but it got wrapped up in his other line over here and got off. Don't worry, Michael Marillo. You don't have to worry about getting fired over here. We got you on payroll. 
Anybody else that Chunky fires, you guys are welcome. You guys have a place on Has Life channel for sure. Don't worry about it, guys. I got y'all back. I got your back. Chunky, get the smoke. Chunky's going live tonight too, guys. So make sure you troll him tonight. <laughs> Good luck. I just told him about the lights. Okay, don't get me started on Epic Trip. I know, man. Epic Trip. That was fire. Hold up. Guys, I will be right back and just enjoy the scenery for a second. Hello? Uh-oh. Hold up. Hey, how's it going? That one? I have no idea. I have no idea. What's up, John? Thanks for coming in. Are you good? Yeah, I'm just live on, on, um, on YouTube. Just recasting near the bridge for cats and carp. Okay, gotcha. Where is he at? Where is he at? Chunky, who? Waiting on the stripers in the basin. When the, what's the tide right now? I didn't even check the tide. When that tide starts to come in, them stripers will, will should pull in there. Let me check the tide real quick. Incoming. Yep, low tides, 942, high tides at 311. So yeah, that bike should start turning on soon. I know I was um be up at three. I hit Chunky. Wait, let me go find Chunky again. No, I didn't. <laughs> So my Uncle Steve got him. Bang! Hit him on it. <laughs> man, I've been working too much. Haven't been on YouTube for a bit, man. It's all good, John. YouTube is not going nowhere, man. It is not going nowhere. You got to work. Got to get that paper, of course. Work and family, those come first. And then YouTube comes after that. Bring Tyreek for the stripers. For the strippers or the stripers? <laughs> How am I gonna watch Epic when I'm going to be too busy with Jeremy? Oh yeah, you are. Jody and Jeremy are gonna be doing a fish off on Saturday. And it's gonna be, I don't know. Where is Chunky, man? Chunky's hey, hiding. Oh, man. Speaking of, speaking of the Dink King, guys, look at him over here. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> we got the Dick King in the house. We were catching this side, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only, only <the> <laughs> Those fish are bigger than Brian's fish right there. <laughs> they might weigh more if mine was longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we changed our James River trip till tomorrow, has. All right, John. I'll be watching Thursday. I'm just going to be in the house chilling. Be doing some work from home and um taking care of baby boy has come out take lessons from has he come out to take lessons from has <laughs> <laughs> had to come out here and show brian b how it's done son Not over here. yeah you know how this spot is 
This spot is, I come, I'll come fish this spot 10 times. Nine times we'll get skunked and only catch some little dinks and stuff. Only one time we'll catch some good fish. Man, it's all good, John. You realize you made mistakes, you fixed your priorities, and you just keep it pushing, man. That's all we can do. We're all human. All humans make mistakes. Just have to recognize your mistakes and, uh, you know, learn and adapt and grow from them. You're in the same area I caught my 41-pound blue at. Nice Justice Fish. Um, my birthday, I was out here fishing. I caught like a 30-something pound blue um, out here. They'll say, they'll, they'll, they'll come through here, but it's just, it's rare when they do pop in through here. The spots that I like to go fish at, the fish are there. What? It feel real good out here. It feel real good out here, man. What you doing for uh, little man's birthday? We gonna do something at the house. Something at the house. Yeah. Do something at the house. Over. And then you got that joint on Saturday. Yeah, I'm gonna try to slide through on Saturday, but I know that I got that tournament, and then I gotta come home and clean out the truck and get ready because me and Mark are going to Deep Creek the next morning. So uh, yeah, it may be a little hard to do with all the stuff that I gotta. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go clean that. The yak and get all that catfish, <laughs> slime and stuff out that joint. Then I gotta empty out the truck and everything. That's a half a day right there. Yeah. And then load it back up with everything to go to Deep Creek. Has Richard and Steven and Brian be on the same stretch of river. Them cats be scared. I'm good. I just left out the house. <laughs> oh, James ain't get out the bed early enough, so they had to move it till tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? They got to drag him out the bed. Yeah, they got to drag James out the bed. Tell B, get on the other side before he rubs bad juju on you, man. <laughs> Brian B, going to bring the dink fish. Wherever Brian go, the dink fish follow. <laughs> he going to bring the he gonna bring the dinks out and he going to bring the snakes out. <laughs> <laughs> Chunky is missing from the party again, missing in action. Walleye, we're going for walleye, we're going for pike, chain pickerel, large mouth, small mouth. Um, me and Fisher Magician, we are leaving on Sunday morning. We'll be out there Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We won't be doing any live streaming because the service out there is terrible. Like, I looked at that last live that I did and, and it, it was like, you could barely see, it was so pixelated. And that's how the whole lake is, the whole area like is like that, it's barely in the service. But we will be recording uh, content and you guys will be able to watch those videos later. Yes, they got Northern Pike, yes they do Aaron. That's, I want to get on a nice big pike, that's my goal, to get on a big pike. They got a bunch of shad over there, DC. See, that's the thing, man. Shad is great bait, but they won't hit. You can't catch them on line and, and uh, hook and lure, man. You got to catch them with a net. Catch them jokers with a net. Make him buy your lunch before you give him the pumpkin. <laughs> before he gets the ride, got to buy some lunch. Now, we got lunch. Richard got a whole bunch of scrimps right here. Lunch is served. Lunch is served. What's up, Mark? Lunch is served. Yeah, let me get this up. Uh, I got to go through and open it up. And get, your, and get your rod out of there. That's bait. Yeah, what? You see that thing right there? Forget that other boat, oh, man. That, that's our new. 
That's our new goal. <laughs> we done changed up our goals, man. Obey on the scrimps. Yes, we got obey on the scrimps. You know it's a. Mike Greenwell is in the house. Mike Greenwell, who? Bumping Mike. Come to Minnesota in the winter, and I'll put you on a mammoth pike. Minnesota is pretty far drive. I would, but I know this one I ain't gonna be able to do no traveling because we got baby boy. It's due November 30th, so I'm just gonna be in the house. I'm only gonna be able to go locally, go fishing and stuff. But I'll definitely take you up on that. I definitely would come to Minnesota. I'll have to wait till the next winter though. One rod limit. One rod, but when you fishing for pike, all you need is one rod. What's up, fellas? Y'all doing any good? Mike Seal, we got three fish so far. Um, the biggest is like five pounds. Two channel cats and a blue cat. Yeah, family always come first. Come to Utah. Yeah, we gonna, as the channel grows, we'll be able to do more traveling. That's my goal is definitely be able to do more traveling for sure. As the channel grows and stuff, and we, the goal is to get, you know, 3,000 subs by the end of this year, and the goal is 10,000 by the end of next year. So we can get some ad revenue coming in and use them ad revenues to pay for trips like that to go around and tour and meet other people and go fish with other people in different states and stuff. For sure, that's definitely the goal. Looking for someone to teach me ice fishing this season. Well, Bex, if you want to do ice fishing, you got to go up north for sure because all the bodies of water, they don't freeze. And if they do freeze, it ain't thick enough for you to be able to go out there and do some ice fishing. I definitely will never ice fish in Maryland. <laughs> I would have to go up north to like, you know, somewhere where the ice is like a, a half a foot to a I ain't trying to die, Haz. I'll go north. Yeah, I need at least a foot of ice to go out there. Even though they say all you need is like three inches of ice and you'd be good, but I right, look, there's still soft spots in that ice where it could be three inches and then go to one inch. I'll take you ice fishing. I know I was talking with Uncle Steve and he had it set up right, man. With uh, he used his van, put a hole in the floor in his in his uh, painting van, and he would fish out of that. Just sit inside the van and fish out of it for ice fishing. Well, you gotta have some thick ice to be able to drive a vehicle on top of it. But man, that's the way to fish though. <laughs> that's the way to ice fish. Twins first, fishing second, and I'm third smiling. First and second, always a winner, absolutely. I got on some ice in Southern Maryland a few years ago. It was a little sketchy. Phew. They In Deep Creek, you could. Yeah, Deep Creek, they Cause that's that's up western Maryland, up north in the mountains, and that that lake up there does uh, freeze over. But I ain't messing with no ice fish up there, anyway. I gotta go further up north. Just have to have four inches to be safe. Yeah, I need somebody to guide me, and they gotta go do all the. They have to walk first, and then I'm like, all right, once you get out to the spot. And I'ma just follow your I'ma follow your steps. I'll follow your steps. I'll be ice fishing in, in the Cadillac. I'll be in my on top of the ice in the Cadillac. So if we break through, I'm just still gonna float. <laughs> yeah, and I bet. Yeah, I ain't messing with that. I'm not messing with that. I'll be right back, y'all. Give me one second. Has will be crawling on the ice. <laughs> I'll be right back. Give me one second. I gotta get Brad do something.
day. Not right now, just get turned on tonight. Uh, good day, uh, over there. Uh, you got another uh, person, I think it's okay. Okay. But, uh, it's just a little bit of time. Uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, uh, that's a day. I'm back. Had to hook up Brian with his rod and his weights from Brad. Hey, gotta get loaded by the way. That video of that boy to the eel from you was a great video. That kid will remember for the rest of his life. Definitely made the kid's day. Thanks, John. Appreciate that, man. That's what we do, man. Those are our future fishermen, and we want to keep this sport going long after we're gone. And YouTube provides us a platform to be able to teach people how to fish and also set an example um for fishermen and for the kids too as well so yeah we are good to go amen amen gotta set the example that's why we keep it family friendly content because i'm always meeting kids out here at the lakes and at the rivers and giving them my stickers and stuff and talking to them and then they get to come on over to the channel and be a part of the community and learn as well but man he was so excited when i gave him that eel and he caught like he was out there for an hour and a half fishing and didn't catch anything he didn't get any bites or any nibbles i gave him the eel he put it on and within five minutes he got a fish five minutes five minutes Epic, when you guys go out there, you guys are at the, you guys know how, how fishing goes, like with, with uh, I mean, not, not fishing, but you guys know how uh, content goes, even on the, uh, on the cable network. During the daytime, you have the kids stuff, and then at nighttime, especially overnight, you know, that's only adults are supposed to be on there, so I don't know, you guys keep a adult language, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> we all know what it is, man. That's the... That's the, uh, you know, the, the TV mature, you know, the TV MA. <laughs> That's what that would be, the late night show on Epic. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Absolutely, Eric Burnside, you keep trucking too as well. And, um, those of you that are people of faith and um, Eric Burnside, he does his uh, Bible study each and every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. It's it's dope concept that they have going on. They read Bible scriptures. They keep it uh, fun, family friendly. It's, uh, you know, there's laughter involved. There's comedy. It's a good time. Just stop in there and pop in. Eric Burnside, he's a great dude. He has uh, JV Outdoors and Two Stands and Fish Snatcher. They go up there too as well. Hello all, you're fishing and I'm at work. Fishing with Jimmy's in the house. 
what's going on, Jimmy? Yeah, I tried to put a limit of 18 on our lives, but a lot of adults couldn't get in. <laughs> I didn't even know that you can put an age limit on the on the live streams. I didn't even know that. But yeah, if you don't have your, I guess if people don't set their age, then they wouldn't be allowed in. Taking lunch right now, awesome. Glad you were able to tune in and come in on your lunch break. You're not missing out on much. We've had a couple fish today. It's not the best bite, but it's a nice day out. And it's better to be here than sitting at home. Now, right now, if I was at home, I'd probably be cleaning up, cleaning up, taking care of the office, getting my gear and stuff together for the weekend. But instead, we're out here fishing. We're taking the office outside today. I gotta go get my other drink. Right no biting, man. No biting. Spot that I would want to go fish, I'm gonna go fish because it's nice out there. Everybody's gonna be over there. Yeah, but they'll catch, we'll catch fish over there for sure. <laughs> Night time is better today. Yeah, it is. Night time is better. Night time is better. Oh man, bite is slow over here. But spot that I would like to go to, too many people over there. What's going on, Kenneth? Thanks for stopping in. Gave my thumbs up before I have to leave. Good luck. All right. We got 88 thumbs up. We got 80 people in the house. Appreciate you guys stopping in. And we up to $110 in Super Chats. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. What's going on, Jay? Appreciate you stopping in. Hey, Haz, I won one of your sweet dog stickers during the Potom during Palmetto's Lady Angles Tournament. Looks good on my little yak. Thanks. You're welcome, Sandy Creek. Appreciate the support. The count is three, Mid-South. We got three. Two channel cats and one blue cat. Yeah, that's what I did. I got, um, I got a Muddy River sticker muddy river catfish sticker on there i got a monster ride holder sticker on my kayak and then i put an uncle lou sticker on there and of course i got my sweet dog sticker on there all the other stickers that i have i have been placing them on my um on my uh my ice chest for, for all my bait but now if people send me two i'll put one on the ice chest and one on my trailer for the kayak George Ray's in the house. What's up, champ? Yeah, well, I'm doing an early stream. I never stream this early, rarely, except for on the weekends. So, but it's nice because all the UK people, they get to tune in because they're like six hours ahead of us. Something like that. So they're able to come in at like a normal time rather than two or three or four in the morning. But we got 89 people in the house, 94 thumbs up. We almost had 100, guys. We almost hit 100 thumbs up. And we've been live for an hour and 21 minutes. Man, the fish don't like us today, Richard. They don't like us today. They got to keep separate on us. 
that's some uh, jail lingo right there. When um when any um uh, inmate in the jail, this, this we call this the checkout move right here. You know they would um they would gamble, or you know they would be beefing with somebody inside of the pot or inside the unit, and they will check out. So they will get a keep separate put on that inmate. So that means they could not be around each other anywhere in the jail. They couldn't be in the same housing unit for the rest of their stay. So that's why I'm saying the fish got to keep separate. They keeping us separate right now. And fish don't want to bite. Lance is in the house. Lance McCoo guy, the cool guy, is in the house. What's going on, Lance? Thanks for stopping in. Man, what time is it? One. Yeah, they say don't eat none of them. Mr. Haz and crew, good luck. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys stopping in here on this wonderful Wednesday afternoon. It's a nice day out. You fishing, finish. You fishing, fishing. I'm working, working. I have Mandalorian sticker by my fishing stickers on my light box tote. So I can use the power of the force. <laughs> right now we need some force today to get out here and get on some fish. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Let's give you guys a little tour. Right here, we got all of um, Richard's rod setups right here. We got my rod setups. This was supposed to be the carp rod, but when I went to go set it up, the tip of it had broke off, so I gotta repair that. Then we got the wharf over here. It's 6 p.m. here, and I appreciate you going live earlier. School nights, it's hard to watch lives, and sometimes weekends is just me and the twins. Yes, I understand, hey, hey, Bandit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, there we go. Big takedown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sitting over here giving you guys a view. You got a takedown now. Got a fish on. Fish on. We need to do, we need to do tours more often if it's gonna give us bites like that. <laughs> That's the tour bite right there. Tour bite. Nah, I'm good. There we go, guys. We got we got another Brian B. Dinkin fish right here. <laughs> <laughs> this on the medium action, Uncle Lou's ride right, right here. It would take it down a good. It was a nice takedown. It was a nice takedown. There we go, guys. Be about two and a half pounds, maybe. Just let him go.
break time they might hit after that. Me and V was out there last night and only caught one fish in like six hours of the perch, man. I was like, that perch, man, that perch don't be working. The place I was getting the bluegill from, man, we had You can go catch, you can go to a pond and catch yeah, that's what I'm about to say, I'm about to say, I'm going to the pond and get yeah. I got the fishing tank. The fish tank in the uh, garage, man. All yeah. I gotta do is drop this joint in there and put the yeah. bubble in there. You can go to the pond and fish. What made them run? Uh, something? The fish tank, what are you doing? Backlash. <laughs> I got all these rods set up for the for the boat. I gotta tighten the drag up on it. Not the drag, I gotta tighten the spool up on it. What's that fish pack that we're gonna make? Well I normally go there for uh Charles the early spring. It's back to back up right now. But I can't, I can't put those in the fish tank if I go get a eel. Oh, no, if I stop going to eel and put them in the fish tank, the bluegill is going bye bye. <laughs> but they, but they, they can't eat the eel though. I mean, the eel can't eat a bluegill. I think they, I think they, they're going to attack them and kill them. Yeah. They, I don't think they're going to last. <laughs> It may. I don't know. I got enough of it. I don't have really much of it. I ain't about to stop it. This thing's too big. Yeah. TJ, come over. <laughs> Where TJ at when you need him? Day that we want to do isn't gonna work because there's also people fishing in tournaments too that day too. It's a day catfish tournament. Yeah. The same day as the market tournament. Yeah. And oh. it was one and it was one Saturday. I know. <laughs> when I was out there on Saturday, man, that's what I said. The dude pulled up in the boat next right. to me and was like, how much to buy that fish? I was like, this fish is going back. When I caught that 40 so kind of he wanted to pay for the fish for his tournament. Uh -huh. like, they caught the most first place one, 80, I think it was 85 man. And I would have won first place in the in the kayak. It, it was two fish, 85 man. Yeah. Second place like 80. I would have I would have I would have got first place in the kayak. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, sorry guys. We back now. We knew it was just a matter of time. Yeah. See, hold up. This line is I have all my, my reels set up. All these uh, rods that I'm using are rods that I use on the kayak. So the tension knobs on them are very loose. Because I'm dropping baits down in the water, I don't really cast them much. And when I do cast them, I'm casting them a different way. But when I have, when I'm slinging them like this with a lot of force, I had to tune them up, tighten that spool up on them. You need to sit and cast. <laughs> What's up, Haz? How's the fishing? Much love from California. Thanks, James. Appreciate you coming in from California. Um, we got four fish, two blues and two channel cats so far. So, I mean, it's a decent bite. It's not a fire bite, but... We're catching fish though. 
that's not bad for an hour and a half. Normally, if you catch like four fish in an hour, that's 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 a, that's a good Maybe. bite. That's a good bite. Well, let me move it back a little bit. Yeah, but um, we were out here that the day we were out here on Saturday. There was a boat fishing tournament, and the day that we're going out to do the uh, the monster hunt tournament, there's gonna be another boat fishing tournament too as well. But the monster hunt is like it's in the evening time though, right? It's two to eight, two to ten. Yeah, two to ten. 2 to 10. See, that's the thing when I'm going to have to start fishing in the evening time over there now again so I can figure out the bite in the evening time because I've been doing all the tournaments I've been doing. I've been on the weekends and the mornings. Oh, man. I hope the pleasure boaters ain't out there because they're going to be in one of my... Yeah, I'm hoping that they, they, that they pack it up by then. Because they go into some of my spots and block me from getting to them. They just sit right on top of them just partying and drinking. Yeah, I'm hoping that the pleasure boaters ain't out that day. Look at catfish. Yep. Is that a catfish or a striper? That's a striper. That, when, when you go out on the bay, this is what you see a lot. A lot of stripers floating because they die so easily. Hold up. There it goes. That's a striper right there, guys, just floating. And not a bad size striper either. He's ballooned up because he's so, uh, he's bloated. But that looked like a nice 20 inch striper. But they get gut hooked a lot. Yeah. Nah, that's a carp. That's a carp. Yeah, that's a carp. That ain't no striper. That's probably the carp Steven cops. <laughs> I know, man, because when you look at it from this way, it got some stripes. Guard, guard might have got a hold of it. Got a little piece of it. Yeah. He said, nah, nah, I know we just messing with you, Stevy Stev. <laughs> that thing been dead for a while. Thing has been there for a while. But yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of tournaments coming up this month. You got October 2nd, me versus Bumpin' Mike Greenwell on Do You Has What It Takes Episode 3. We're going to find out if he has what it takes. He's going to be fishing Ohio River. Bumpin' Mike is going to be bumping. On the Ohio River. And of course, I'm gonna be out there in the Cadillac. We'll be doing some anchor fishing. We'll be doing some suspend fishing. Crayfish Kings, what's up, champ? But we're gonna find the fish. For sure. And then that later on that evening, you got um Jody and Jeremy. They'll be fishing for uh, Pontoon Jody and uh, Jeremy Tournament Cats. They'll be fishing on Avis Channel, doing a flathead competition. I believe there's some other tournaments too that day. Oh yeah, you got the Friday night. The first, you got, um, what was it, seven? Uh, seven to two? Eight to two. Eight to two p.m. Eight to two p.m. Eight um, p.m. to two a.m. Eight p.m. to two a.m. It's on Becca's channel. On Becca's channel, you got Aaron's uh, tournament, Catfish Regulators. And that, they got the picking for who their partners are going to be tonight at 7 p.m. on Becca's channel, uh, Becca Mud Tramp. What they're doing is they're doing a, um, it's all bank fishing, and they're doing um, teams. So you have a river, 
fisherman and a pond or lake fisherman, they're going to be paired up. And they're doing the pickings tonight to see who's going to be paired up with who. So you're going to have a lake guy paired up with the river guy. Um, and then they'll face up against another lake and river guy, you know, so on and so forth. But it's going to be two nights. That's going to be Friday night and Saturday night. So I mean, a lot of tournaments going on. I, mean, I think there's other tournaments going on Saturday during the day too. I'm just, there's so much stuff to keep track of. If you go on Shop Palmetto Cat's uh, website, he has a calendar on there. And I think that has them all. And then you have um, Fishing with the Chad Couples Tournament. I believe that's the 9th and 10th and 16th and 17th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's a Saturday and Sunday, the 9th and 10th, Saturday and Sunday, the following Sunday, 16th and 17th. And you also gonna have a surprise special edition of Do You Has What It Takes. We're working out the details right now for that. And that's gonna be soon. We'll be announcing that here in the next couple of days. We'll be announcing, we'll be announcing that. And then I'm gonna be uh, putting a whooping on Chunky Cats here very soon too. Put a whooping on Chunky. Saturday morning. Got, uh, I think that's Robbie's tournament. Oh, Robbie's tournament. Robbie's tournament too. Catch a full cause. Yeah, catch a full cause. Fishing with Robbie. His tournament's on Saturday too. That's an in-person tournament, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's an in-person tournament. And I believe it's on Santee Cooper. We're back on the bank. Yes, sir, Tony. We back on the bank. Has and Chunky gonna be a good one. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. You know, there's gonna be a lot of trash talking during, before, during, and after that one. So I gotta make sure I put a whipping on Chunky so I can keep talking trash to him. And then you got the Monster Hunt Tournament, the 30th and 31st. What was that River Lake Tournament again? Uh, Catfish of Curtis, that is gonna be, uh, Catfish Regulators, um, normally he runs the 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. tournament, but this time they're doing a um, 8, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. tournament. And it's gonna be on Becca's channel this Friday and Saturday. Has for the win. That's right, Solo Texans, for the win. And they'll be picking, uh, so you got that. How you gonna do two shows at once? I'll be on there until it's like 720. Oh. And then jump on. Cause they ain't doing no picking names. They yeah. They name before then and show me the map there. Let me know what I'm with. Got you. So man, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. It's action packed. We need a TV guide. That's what we need now. For all these lives, we need to, somebody needs to come up with a TV guide. <laughs> the, the, the newsletter. And then just send out an email to everybody in the catfish community. You can just get everybody's email and boom, it just goes to everybody, man. Who's technically savvy to do stuff like that? We need somebody to do that. They just send out a chain email. With... You could do it. You gonna be doing that now. <laughs> Brian B said Chunky can do it. He don't be doing nothing else. <laughs> and the smack talking continues. <laughs> That's what we need for real. Shoot. Hope Miss Becca gets well soon. Miss Becca's not feeling good? I didn't know that. I keep her in your prayers too if Miss Becca's feeling good. Yeah, I thought she was too. I didn't know. She was on Lee Evans this morning. And I and she been in this past weekend she was on she regulators. Was on regulators yeah. She was on regulators on Friday. Palmetto has a calendar on his website, has all the events. Yep, that's what we were saying. You go on Kevin's website and it has all the events for everything that's coming up. She hurt her back. Okay, she hurt her knee. Her back or her knee? 
she lifted something heavy and hurt her back. So one person says back, some person says deep. Well, I hope her back and her knees good. <laughs> everything. We'll hope everything is good. Okay, she hurt her back. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. She just has to take it easy. Take it easy. What's going on, River Monsters? Potomac River Monsters in the house. What's up, champ? First bite, keep it rock. Dang, son, you got to keep it already? I got my bass gear in there, man. It may have to come down to you and do some uh, bass fishing. Uh-oh. Fish got a tap. Dan is in the house. What's going on, Dan? We doing some bank fishing today, Dan. We're not even getting the kayak out. So I had to come out here early anyways to meet Richard to get my musky bumping board. <laughs> man, but one thing I would say, man, is if you do good things, the universe has a way of returning stuff to you guys. So Saturday, I go out and, um, you know, I'm doing my uh, Do You Has What It Takes tournament. And after the tournament, I'm loading everything back up. That's the same day I gave the kid the eel. He catches the fish and all that stuff. And somehow my musky bumping board fell off my kayak and I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know that it was gone. Richard goes out fishing yesterday. This is three days later. Richard goes out fishing. He goes to one spot and the river is just ripping too too, uh, too much. So then he goes to the spot that I put my kayak in at. And he goes fishing. When he comes back from fishing, what does he see on the bank? He sees my musky bumping board on the bank, y'all. Big logo, sweet doggy. Big logo, sweet dog. He sends it in the group chat, and I'm looking at the picture. I'm like, what the fish snatcher? How's <laughs> my board? I'm like, dang, man. When I turn my kayak on the side to put my cart up under it, my musky bumper board came off, and I didn't even know, man. But see how the universe works. Luckily, Richard was out there fishing yesterday, and he and he saw it. He picked it up for me. I came out here to meet him today. And then I got my bumping board back. <laughs> that thing is a hundred dollar board too. Yeah, Green Machine. It's been out there since Saturday. And the river's been running. I'm surprised it stayed on the bank because the tide comes up and comes down and usually it comes up and then it'll take everything and, and you know wash it downstream. It stayed in the same spot. Then it moved. Did Richard sell it back to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah that is crazy chunky doesn't has what it takes man i haven't seen chunky back up in since uncle steve got him man uncle steve bonged him on the head i don't know where he is man chunky must be in his house crying right now babe chunky call me out and i gotta go fishing against him <laughs> i don't have what it takes i don't have what it takes <laughs> Going around, riding around with you to all the stores. <laughs> you got 12 wheels? Okay, I'm, hey, I'm coming to get them. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely, Mark. <laughs> Rich is getting all it. Rich is getting everything, man. That's why I went down there when you said. They have plenty over there, but they haven't lowered the price for about four months. Twenty dollars? It's yeah. they raised the price where I get it at to fourteen ninety nine. It was thirteen ninety nine. Now it's fourteen ninety nine a pound, man. I went down there Friday night. It was crazy. The price of eel going up. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dan. So that yeah, that that changed my plans because I had to come all the out all the way out to the river today. So I was like, man, I'm not even gonna be able to fish in the kayak because I don't want to come all the way out here and have to go back and do all this. stuff come back later and fish in the kayak so i was like forget it we're just gonna bank fish out here with richard today we're just gonna bank fish out here i'm just glad i got my board so i can be fishing in these tournaments 
next start next month. So I'll be out there on Saturday. That'll be my first day fishing for next month. It's expensive because it's used for sushi. Well, they need to. They need to lower. They need some. We need some bait shops around here. That's why we had no bait shops. You go to Annapolis, but they sell those little ones. They're like two fifty a piece. Has I just sent Chunky that title? Hello, he read it. I'm fine. <laughs> And sorry, Michael, you hired over here, man. We got you. You hired over here. Yeah, Dan, when I looked at it yesterday, I think I, I think, um, I, I was like, dang, nobody signed up, man. I think it was just Clint, or maybe nobody was signed up. I don't even remember. I'm gonna sign up for sure, though. Number two was a short. Hold on, I think I missed what. Get, LOL, let me get my limit first. Oh, <laughs> he said, let me get his limit first before I go over there. <laughs> Is it in DC? It's a two limit, too? Me, Clint, and Stan 3 now. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to say, Stan 3 better jump in because he getting his money back. Stan 3 getting the money back. What's up, VLB? Man, y'all are just. Y'all are going to be tough to beat on them month-long tournaments, but I can get you guys in the short game, though. I know I can do that because I just got when I know you guys are going to find the big fish. You guys are going to get on with them 47, 48, 49 inch fish. We don't have those on the Potomac. Bank fishermen need to step it up. And I'm going to be doing the bank fishing tournament, too, next month. I didn't even submit any of my bank scores that I've been bank fishing for. But I'm going to do both. I'm going to be doing the bank fishing and the kayak fishing. Well, let me shoot back across this water. I go ahead and cook. All right. This is cool, ready for everybody. This little boy when he get over. <laughs> Does fresh eel work as well as live eel? I don't use live eel. I bet you do has, if you got a 60, there's a 70. Yeah, we can find them. It's just, it's rare. Has Elsa says he was hidden from chat by mod. He has been kicked off the island. Man, let me go in and see. I know he got. Okay. He let me go in and fix this guys. Chunky's hidden. <laughs> let me go in and fix it. Um, I don't use live eel. I always cut it up and throw it out there. But I get it alive though. Somebody said he was hidden. I may have accidentally did it. I don't know. Or it could have been I don't know who it was. Let me see here. You had to do it to be a mom. Nah, he uh, I took his wrench. Uh oh, <laughs> I took his wrench. I bet that one. Let me see, where's Chunky at? <laughs> yeah, he is. He's on there. <laughs> there you go, Chunky. <laughs> you can come back in now, Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> it showed you hit him earlier. Oops. <laughs> I was just trying to take his wrench. <laughs> oh man, it wasn't me, but I wish it was. You know what to do. Let him let him say his trash talk. There he goes. There he goes. Let him get let him get a few more words in, and then you know what to do, Michael. You always hired on my channel. You ain't never gonna be fired, son. <laughs> K-Pasa, Chunky. 
<laughs> oh man. No oh, man. Crazy thing is Chucky probably sitting right there laughing like Nah, let me why can't I click on your name? Ad moderator, there you go, Chunky. You're safe for now, man. I want you to be able to. I want you to be able to <laughs> trash talk. I want to hear Chunky smack talk. <laughs> Chunky, I got a new position with Has Life Inc. You can't fire me now. Michael Marillo is living the Has Life. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all shouldn't do Chunky like that. <laughs> I don't like Uncle Steve anymore. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> we got Chunky this time. You see Chunky in a few minutes uh, riding his truck right now. <laughs> Chunky gonna Chunky gonna ride by with a paintball gun and start shooting at us. <laughs> he gonna shoot us with a paintball gun. He gonna start shooting up with the uh, with his uh, glow in the dark paint. He gonna put glow in the dark paint in the paintball gun. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> chunky drive-bys. I'm driving. You guys are going to make me crash. <laughs> oh, man. Drive safe, Chucky. Get to where you need to get to safe, man. We don't want you crashing. Chucky, stop going and buying up all the eel, man. Stop it. I need my eel. <laughs> I need my eel for this weekend. <laughs> You got a 50 gallon cooler in the back of your truck. <laughs> <laughs> One of my guys came into the office to make sure I was okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man, that is a yacht yacht for real, man. Sheesh. One day. Chunky, there's a rumor that during the tourney, someone going to pay boaters to make waves by your boat. <laughs> oh, Lord. Chunky will get off the water a ASAP. Hold up. I just realized that I don't even have my phone plugged in. Oh, we at 53%. We good. I told him the cheaper pant, cheaper people's champ. Lay the smack it down. Yes, sir. You know it. <laughs> you know it. Well, I have 50 some messages to go through from Monday and yesterday. Dang. Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou. Steven on the way. Oh yeah, now Steven's fishing right over here, guys. He's on like he's on the other side of this bridge right here. Around the corner. Right over there. Steven just enjoying the peace and quiet. And he's chilling. He caught one cop so far. There we go. To charge faster. What? Yeah, it went away. Oh, well. Okay, I just didn't know if you went through. Jo uh, the bite is. It's decent. We got four fish so far. Four. Sorry. I almost choke right there.
Yeah, I want to say, yeah, I believe it's four fish is what we got. Two blue cats and um, two channel cats. <coughs> but that's it. That is it. Nothing big. Biggest is like four pounds, five pounds. Evan TV is back. Wow, happy for you, Uncle Lou. Blessings on top of blessings. Did I miss something? Oh, gotcha. All the messages. Yeah, fish caught. No skunk. We got fish. We got fish. Rich is going to put out some strawberry jello chicken over here. Let me move this. E is in the house. What's up, E? No, so we doggy like real time caught last night. Yeah, I saw that sweet dog that you caught. It was uh, it was like Brian B size, Brian B Dinkin size. We know that um, E Potomac River E be catching the big boys. Brian be getting on all the dinks. Ryan gets on all the dinks. Man, I'm good, man. We out here chilling at Haynes Point. Fishing, doing some bank fishing today, switching it up a little bit. I had to come out here and meet Richard, so I was like, you know what? We just gonna fish. Huh? I know. If I see a black truck, dive. I'm gonna dive, guys. I'm gonna hit the floor. Cause it's gonna be a black truck with a chunky logo on the back of it. I'm going to hit the floor. Got to dodge them bullets. I know. But this, this is Hayes Point, though. This is how it always is. This is why I'm becoming fishing over here like that. Uh, I was here Sunday, couple years after. Yeah. A bunch of small ones. Yeah. A bunch of small ones, about 10. But no, nothing big, about nothing four or five pounds. Yeah. But they were biting the frequency. That's why I don't fish over here much. I like to go where I, you know, the spot where I'd show you at. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a little walk, but when they're biting, we get some big ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that spot is. But DMV was there last night, though. He didn't, he yeah, didn't no, do he good. Wasn't. He didn't do good. Yeah, John Boy, send me an email. Send me an email with your address, and I got you. Hazlifefishing at gmail.com. What's up? Oh, yeah. Let me give you a. Uh, let me give you uh, the, the new ones. Oh, Thank you. Bless you. Woohoo! Look at this guy. Oh, Steph is coming to the party! Oh, nice. Big ones. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's the big ones right there. Guys, Steph is coming over to the party now. Brian left. That's Richard. That's Richard. It's a party now. Thanks, Solo. Appreciate that. Deadpool is in the house. What's up, Deadpool? Thanks for stopping up in here, champ. Uh, Stevie Steve. How are you? 
I'm doing good, man. How's it going? Yeah, yeah nice seeing you too. I'm good, I'm good. You got good. only got one cop over there only so far. Got one cop. Like That's I, enough. That felt yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. No, how, how big was it? Probably like six, six, seven five. pounds. Yeah. That's still a good fight, though. Yeah. yeah. They fight unbelievable. Yeah, they do. Right, left. Yeah, right, left. Taking drag, <laughs> running. Did you get them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they get close, when you got to net them, man, they just take off again. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're fine. I noticed they like the left hook kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So now when they come this way, I put my net here, mm -hmm. and then boom, and they go into the net. Right into the net, so yeah. seem to do the same thing. Yeah, man. Them hey. cops are fun. What's up, everybody? Stevy Stev, <laughs> one half of no real losses in the house. <laughs> Just one cap. Just one. Couple taps, but. Yeah. Blue, even my chicken, even my, come on, not even a bite on my chicken today. Wow. I'm gonna try again. I'm yeah, here. I got a uh, 50 minutes. Try again. Yeah, that's right. We ain't Steven Carp Net and Pro. Yes, sir. Come on, fish it, fish it. Where y'all at? We're going to go till it's 141. Probably give it like 30 more minutes to an hour. Then we're going to beat this traffic home. trailer the um you know with the the tongue that the boat sits on that wheel that you jack up it my hole filled with water and it broke and i, I ordered the new parts so that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow that way i'm going tomorrow i mean the the tongue itself was only like 80 dollars for a new a new wheel and a new jack that jack was ready for a thousand pounds i always saw it it was always leaning a little bit i was like Man, this thing is going to break. This thing ain't ready to hold up this boat, and it definitely did. But now I got one that's ready for 2,000 pounds. So tomorrow, I'm going by, pumping out all the water, and um, I'm going to jack up and put the new the new tongue on there. And then we're going to take the, then I'm going to take the boat out and... Sell maybe get a new boat. Yeah, I am. I am going to sell the boat. So much yeah, I ain't messing. Up. I'm gonna sell the boat. I'll probably take it out maybe like two or three more times. And then I'm then I'm gonna put it up. I'll probably sell it in the springtime. I'm gonna just hold on to it for the winter and sell it in the spring. Cause right now the boats ain't gonna sell. Nobody nobody buying boats right now. Everybody's selling boats right now. <laughs> yeah, people are selling boats right now. So I'll hold on to it till the springtime. When yeah, Aaron, that's what I need to do. I need to take it out on the bay. Has, can you tell me the email one more time? Has Life, it's my channel name, Has Life and Fishing. Add fishing to it at gmail.com. Thanks, Solo Texans. Appreciate that. But yeah, boats are exactly what they stand for, especially an old one like mine. Ever since I bought that boat, I was just putting money, 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 money into it. And when I got an opportunity to jump on this the Cadillac, I took it in and I jumped on it. And I've been fishing out of that thing ever since, and I've been loving it. And it's and it don't cost me nothing. I ain't got to worry about anything breaking on that thing. The motor is under warranty for like five years, and the hole itself is a lifetime warranty. So. We are good. And I can get on the fish. But when it starts to get too cold, I probably won't be fishing it. Sell it to Chunky. <laughs> oh, man. 
And the thing is about that boat is I didn't know a lot about fishing out of a boat or what type of boat or what type of vessel I wanted. And that boat right there is too much of a boat. It's 22 feet long. It's like 4,500 pounds. It has the cutty cabin. It has a lot of wasted space. You know, it has that walk around and stuff, but it's not good for what the type of fishing that I want to do in it. It's not. It's not designed for it. So I'm gonna. Sell, I'm gonna sell it in the springtime, and we'll get another boat. I want to give me like a nice eight, at least 18 foot. Nothing smaller than that. I want an 18 foot, and I want it to be wide. Probably at least eight feet wide. 18 feet long by eight feet wide would be a perfect size boat. Aluminum, deep V. That'll be perfect for what I need. I like those Northwest boats. I haven't seen those Northwest. Like I could do a Bass Tracker aluminum DV as long as it's wide enough. Matt is from the UK. What's going on, Matt? Thanks for stopping in from the UK. Appreciate your champ. I am fishing in Washington, D.C. Um, right here is the Washington Channel. It's connected to the Potomac River. Normally, I'm fishing out on the Potomac River. Has going to end up with a hand-me-down from Chunky. I don't want that little rinky dink. That dinky boat catches dinky fish. <laughs> nah, that boat is actually... I, on the Potomac River, surprisingly, that's what a lot of people fish out of. Um, it's a boat that size. But you just have to be comfortable in it. Where Chunky's going at, he's going into open waters. Like, I fish in a narrow section of the river. We don't have those crosswinds and stuff, so we don't get that uh, waves that, like that. Where Chunky fish out, he's fishing in a wide open spot. I just got two pet catfish. How you get them to use the litter box? <laughs> oh man. Hands off SS glow stick. It's been donated to Bex. <laughs> the SS glow stick with the 99. Nine. All right, Luther. I watched a bass tournament on the Potomac this week. Didn't know it had quality bass like that. Yes, John McKnight, there is um, quality bass um, on the Potomac River. They do, there is a pro circuit of bass fishing tournaments that come through here too as well. Not a lot of bass fishing tournaments, but they do have bass fishing tournaments out here. Nah, no more DC. Bite is slow bite is slow what it do what it be what it is has life dmv's in the house what's going on dmv man how was the bite last night man i i went to sleep so i didn't get to stay up and watch all of that but i know it was super slow for you no super slow we only got four over here at the tidal basin i got two blue cats and on eel and then caught two um two channel cats on some carp bait over there some corn no fishing in the second spot dang son watching from school what's going on colin wilson what school are you in uh middle school high school college man that's the thing like now i would get in so much trouble if i was in school because you know all this technology and these smartphones and these airpods and stuff i would just be in class with my airpods in watching stuff like this or not doing what i'm supposed to be doing in school <laughs> i'm a junior in high school Awesome, Colin. Thanks for tuning in. Well, make sure you pay attention in class, too. Because you're a junior. Junior year is a very important year. Your junior year and senior year are very important in, um, in high school because that's going to set you up for what college you're going to be able to go to and also trying to get 
some scholarships and, and grants and stuff too, because college gets expensive. So it's definitely nice to be able to get some grants and stuff to help out. I just jumped in to everyone's grubby paws of my future. But back to work. All right. Has the best part of the Cuddy Cabin was being able to get your little ones out of the hot sun. Yeah, that is the best part, Solo. That is the best part of it. Is be able to get them out of the hot sun. That's That was my whole thought process behind it. When I first I was like, yeah, this is definitely a good boat. But... I mean, I, all I need is a, you know, a DV with a, um, with a nice Bimini top on it, and you'd be good to go. Yeah, them deep cycle batteries, man. I have a few of them. I got like six of them, so I already, I know all about all that. Them deep cycle batteries get heavy, but. I got lithium batteries that I use in the kayak. Way better, way lighter. Yeah, DMV, that's what I got. I got, um... What is it? I can't even remember the name of the brand now. But yeah, I got these uh, 60 amp hour um, lithium batteries. They're like 20 pounds. They're very light. They last a long time too. But they're expensive. But the good thing about it is they have like 10,000 cycles versus a deep cycle battery has like three to 4,000 cycles. So you're gonna get twice as much life out of it. Twice to three times. So like a deep cycle battery lasts you two years. A lithium battery is going to last you five to ten years. Ma'am, if you're if you're having weight issues with boats and stuff, that's the best way to go because you can get uh, 29 uh, DC D cycle battery is gonna weigh about 70 pounds, but you can get that same battery in a lithium for like 23, 23 pounds. So you'd be saving about 40 pounds each battery, and that makes a big difference, especially in those smaller boats. It makes a very big difference. Especially when you're talking about three three to four batteries on a boat for one to start the boat and two or three batteries to run your trolling motor. DMV, have you retired the uh, the float tube? <laughs> Well, the water temps are starting to cool off now, so I met you you wouldn't be able to get too many more trips out of that float tube. I know you did one live in that thing. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. What's up, Stabby Stab? Man. Time to sit down. It's time to sit down and relax. <laughs> this this is why I barely come to Haynes Point. <laughs> the bite is always suspect, man. You never know what it's going to do. But it's easy. It's easy fishing. It is. It's very good for uh, kids yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. Cooking, grilling, all that stuff. It's very good. It's easy fishing. Right here. I'm always nervous to, to come to back here. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Really? Yeah, they don't mess with you. You know, they have them signs right there, but they don't mess with you at all. And if they do, you just walk over there. Oh, I'm right here. I'll move it. You know. But I'll tell you, never have anybody mess. When I come here on the weekends, 
I get here early and I'll be the first person to park there. And then 40 other cars come and park right there yeah, too. So then not everybody's there. So they really can't do anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's one thing I learned is like, man, they will Especially when I go over there, you know. Yeah, I park right there. Because I'm here right now. Oh, you are? You did all that? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, I park right there. Yeah. Yeah, I pull right up there and park. Always. Yeah, there's a dude parked over there. Yeah, they don't mess with you. They don't mess with you. Man, yeah, definitely DMV got to get out there soon before the water gets too cold. That water temp's already starting to drop. You like to use the, these guys, right? The dragon weights. Yeah. Stay there two, two and a half. Yeah. I got like three more packages, man. I, I got them too. I probably won't use them, man. You, use, you can use them. Yeah, not to... Uh, I, I still got like two more packages. Okay. I probably won't use it this year. All right. Because I do use them in the kayak. Well, how, Two ounce, two, or two? Yeah, no, this one is good. I the two and a half ounces. Yeah, these are the perfect ones right here. These are the Santee Drifter.com Dragon Weights right yeah. here. Um, Richard, right here, of course, man, he just blessed me with these right here. The thing about this, like on the Potomac River, you use four ounces of weight on the Potomac River the whole bottom. So the thing about it is, if you use four ounces of weight on your drifting weight, this whole thing is just gonna be sitting on bottom right here. You want it to be dragging up off of the bottom of the river so two and a half ounces is a perfect weight to use it's perfect yeah 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 two and a half ounces on the baton river is perfect and this right here they'll just drag across the bottom and it the goal behind it is so that it doesn't get snagged up as it's dragging across the back of your kayak or the back of your boat and you can go on there, SanteeDrifters.com, and use Hazlife 15, and you'll get 15% off. Muddy River Chris Flores is in the house. He put out a dope video of that, man. Speaking of Chris Flores, if you haven't already hooked set to Chris, the amazing um, Chris does a lot of dope catfishing out there on the view. He put out a video. If somebody can drop his link, I'd appreciate that. Um, but he does a video and explains to you how to do drifting, how to do dragging, how to do suspending, and it's great if you're trying to learn how to do all that stuff. He put a great video out for that. I think I sent the email has. All right, John boys, let me check. This sauce was perfect. You don't even need anything. Yep, I got it. I got the email. DMV, quit snarfing around, man. <laughs> I have, I have run my boat with the chunky size guy, and without no difference in how the boat runs or speed, can't justify the difference in cost and need a new charging system. I got gotcha. you. Can you imagine us having a meet and greet on that thing right there? That's new boat right there. They're preparing the motor, aging, and Oh, man. This is, guys, Muddy River is in the house, guys. There goes Muddy River right here. Right there, the Muddy River. Chris Flores, though, pulled up to the Potomac River. He's sitting over there in his yacht. Thank you, Rondell. Appreciate that. Shoo, man, fishing is slow today. No bells going on. None. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, something, corn, something, something go down. <laughs> Chicken, eel, perch, something go down. You guys put some perch too? Yeah. Yeah. I put perch. I went to get the shrimp. I put two perch. 
I got one perch already if you want to use it, but they're not biting. Yeah. yeah. I use that perch, but they're not biting. Yeah, not biting. Not today. Not at this spot anyways. Chris, what is the best way to get in touch with you with the question? Email? Um, Muddy River Catfishing at gmail.com is his email address. Oh, there you go. Chris Flores fishing at gmail.com. Power of twos, two, two, two to bring some luck. Hey, has I just got home from the store going to mow grass, letting the play. All right, thanks, Ernie. Appreciate that. Hello, everyone. Off to the yard. All right, Ernie. Thanks for stopping in, champ. Appreciate the donation, Stan. We're gonna be um <laughs> these fish are not biting here. So I'm gonna be ending this live stream and I may go to another spot or I may go home. We're not even sure yet. We'll figure something out. I may go fish the riverside somewhere. I just wanna go to a spot that isn't all crazy or crowded right now. Because I'm not trying to deal with a bunch of people. So if we can find that, if I can find a spot like that, we'll go fishing. If not, then I'm just gonna head home. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. 61 awesome people in the house. 123 thumbs up. Lots of people, not on the, um, it just depends on what spots you go to on the Potomac side. The spots that I like to go are pretty popular, not just like fishing places, but just they're popular for a lot of people, uh, you know, traffic, foot traffic and stuff. But yeah, we'll figure something out. I appreciate each and every one of you guys stopping in, hitting that thumbs up. Um, if I don't go live again, you guys will see me Saturday on Do You Has What It Takes, me versus Bumper Mike Greenwell, 1v1, three biggest fish. That's gonna be Saturday. You're gonna have two stands out there hosting. You'll probably see Snatcher jump in and Brian B jump in. Um, but man, I appreciate you guys for the support. Thanks to each and every one of you guys. God bless, has life, peace.